Today more <clears throat> man-made horrors. Let's see this crap because I have seen this on 4chan. I've seen something about it and it was outrageous. Father, trans woman who kept trans woman, sure, who kept seven-year-old daughter in cage. Use her for violent child exploitation content. Now classified as female in New Jersey woman's prison. If this not if this was not heinous, cruel, and depraved, I don't know what it is. Look at this motherfucker. <laughs> Meth, not even once. Oh, a trans-identified male who was sentenced to 25 years in prison. How about the electric chair for this? Right? For the horrific sexual assault of abuse of an individual's of the individual's own seven-year-old daughter is now classified as a female by the New York Jersey Department of Corrections. The Department of Punishments, not Corrections. It's not. No, no, no. Let's get real. Marina Volz, because that's how you pronounce it. This is a German name, and Germans are all weird. Formerly Matthew <laughs> was arrested and sentenced to 25 years in prison in May of 2022 after being found guilty of human trafficking aggravated a sexual assault, conspiracy, and endangering the welfare of a child. Uh, Volz and the child's mother were separated, but Volz took the child from her mother's custody. How? How did he do it? In Oregon. In Oregon. How do you do this in Oregon? And brought her to New Jersey in 2018, where Volz began... It, the women always get, always get the children. How? In the awoke state, like Oregon, you get the Moving along, begins the, ch the child in horrifying child sexual exploitation videos. No fucking shit. Fucking with those. Volts ran a homemade transgender pornography production business specializing in BDSM fetish and tattoo ah, with other three individuals. The depraved child sexual exploitation scheme was launched just one year after the trans identified pedophile served as the President of the Clark College Queer Association in Vancouver. What? Washington, where Volt was the face of LGBTQ, whatever the crap, students on campus. <laughs> and they say the Catholic priests are the biggest predators of them all because they fuck your children. How about this, motherfuckers? Volt was first arrested in 2018 after anonymous tip alerted authorities to the fact that explicit content was being created in a home where the child was resident. Where a child resident. Ah, my pronunciation is amazing. <laughs> this led to investigators seizing custody of the child and raiding Volt's property, which resulted in the discovery of ex extensive evidence of child pornography and sexual abuse on more than 30 computers, cameras, and digital storage devices. Volts and three accomplices ran a family-owned family, -owned family -owned, and this doesn't sound amazing Verdammt from the home of Franklin from the home in Franklin Township where all four resided. A 2019 investigation uncovered that Volts and accomplices jointly jointly where are these motherfuckers? Are these guys in prison? Are they dead? They should be. Sexually assaulted the child, filming the assault which involved the basement cage, neck, cars, and variety of... Ugh. Another trans-identified male, Ashley Romero, was involved in sexual... <laughs> along with a man called Sean Allen. The foreigner of the house was Dulcinea Neko. Dulcinea. Oh <laughs> my god, <laughs> this is no Dulcinea. Maybe Rocinanta, who, oh, <laughs> according to Redux, acted as a domestic servant. <laughs> People are sick in the head. Judge Peter Tober avoided going to details of the case by told the court that the seven year old has been treated to torture like conditions. <sighs> if this were alive, I've read this before. Upon sentencing in May 2022, Romero was immediately sent to Etna Man. Man, man, whatever, correctional facility for women, whereas, whereas Volt was initially sent to South Woods State Prison for men. However, just two months later, Volt was transferred to Edna, despite still being recorded as a male inmate, because he's a dude, a weirdo, 
a meth mother pedo fire son of a <sighs> there's no point in getting angry. Now Redux has learned that Vault's classification has been updated and the trans identifier male pedophile is recorded as a female. My ass a female. A male, a female <laughs> I'm getting angry. A source within the prison told me. Yeah, it's fully intact. Even if it wasn't fully intact, still a dude. You, we do not have the technology to change the DNA. Yet. Once that's a possibility, once you can change the DNA to someone and magically, quote unquote, grow him a womb and the rest of the parts that is required to be a woman and shit, then you can say, yes, I am now a woman after I grow my own womb, womb. I grow my own vagina and all the crap and tits and whatever and my bones modified and and my uh, hips modified. Uh, uh, this is so stupid. What, what was it? What was I? Going back. Another incarcerated woman told Redux that Volt and Romero have expressed a desire. Uh, yeah, this is the part that I've seen on 4chan because what? It was all radar that was bullshit. No way, this is real. Come on. I know that, the, 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 that people are stupid in the government and the, all this crap and want to wanna be progressive and tolerant and all that crap. But no way, this is the, the real thing. Come on. <laughs> oh my god. First, I had to get married. It must seems to be an effort to share a cell. The source added that neither one is undergoing sex offender treatment. So they're not even being chemical, chemically castrated. Well, uh, the only woman's prison in the state of New Jersey is going to be housing multiple violent male inmates with a history of violence against women and children. Why are they there? It was supposed to be for women. Redux attributed the state leniency in transferring male criminals to the female estate 2021 settlement between Ah, there was a settlement between American Civil Liberty, ACLU, the one of the biggest scams I've ever seen in the world. ACLU, go fuck yourselves. This is a scam just like ADL. A scam. A Ponzi scheme designed to steal your money and pretend that they are something important when they are not. And people, because people are fucking morons, they give them power, which they do not deserve. Ugh. The New Jersey Department of Corrections, which requires the trans-identified inmates, be housed according to the self-declared gender. What if I'm a potato as a gender? What was it uh, back to, in the old days when, you know, when the internet was a bit more wild? Uh, Apache helicopter as a gender. Stupid shit. Last year, Redux spoke to multiple female inmates at the facility who told, who told of the fear and anxiety. Fuck, you're in prison. Suffer. And the result of being locked with a trans identifier. Was, oh my God, I'm going to get raped. Men get raped in the other prisons all the time. And no one cares. But you, you we should care about you. No, if you don't care about the dudes getting fucked in the ass in prisons, we're not going to care about you getting fucked in the prison. Fuck off, you have no rights, you are in prison, suffer. Niseka Diggs, an inmate in uh, Edna, whatever, said female inmates are scared to death of the trans identifier. No, I'm scared to death, oh no. Under the current policy, these males are not required to undergo surgery, and Diggs believes that, are, Diggs, yeah, believes most are not on hormone therapy. Pff, why should they be? It's on prison, it's prison time. She also pointed out that the majority of women in Edna have experienced trauma in the past with many being victims of male violence. You're in prison. Fuck off. This means the pres presence of men that cause them several severe distress. Oh my god, women most affected. Go oh, fuck yourself. According to Dex, women who complain of feeling unsafe are placed in protective custody. <laughs> so lock down. We can't express our feelings in fear of being put in protective custody. <laughs> Just like lock up. <laughs> Okay, this motherfucker should be shot because he is raping children. At least one child. His own. But this bitch is complaining that, oh, we, are, we have anxiety. You are in prison. You are in prison for reasons. Go fuck yourself. The also... Well, I'm no longer angry at the motherfucker. I'm angry at this obnoxious bitch now. <laughs> The exhausted scrap of anxiety as having to share a shower with one of the males transferred to women. Fuck off. You haven't seen a dick in how many years? God knows. And you now you see one. Oh, 
Look at that! Oh, fuck off. Silk and Nikki. Well, whom she didn't find out. Dix also described her anxiety as having a sh to share a shower with one of the males transferred to the woman's prison, who, whom she identified, he identified as Nikita Selket. Selket is 6 feet 7 inches trans identified myself for 30 years since for the murder of his roommate. So now he, it's a he, and before she, it was a she. Uh -huh. In the 1995, Selket is also recorded as being a female, but. <laughs> Yeah, female my ass. <laughs> oh my god. Nah. This guy is gonna stay in prison. And if he would have been to a, a dude's prison, if I remember correctly, there is um some sort of an unwritten common law in high security prisons for men. And if you go there for child molestation, shit like this, or killing your wife that didn't do nothing which sometimes it happens. Usually there's a reason why you kill your wife. But sometimes it happens. You're crazy. You, you've done meth or whatever the crap you snorted out that day and you went ballistic and killed your wife. And if you get there, the boys who are serving life sentences or lower, or who knows, they will take care of you. They will uh, make you <clears throat> warm food. 